Stop scrolling. Ever wondered why we experience two high tides a day, not just one? Let's break this down. It all starts with the moon. Its gravitational pull is like an invisible hand tugging on the Earth's oceans. On the side facing the moon, the water bulges. That's your high tide. But here's what they don't tell you. There's another high tide on the opposite side of the planet. Here's the fascinating part. While the moon's pull is strongest on the near side, it's weakest on the far side. At the same time, the Earth's rotation creates centrifugal force, pushing water outwards. These two opposing forces combine to create another high tide bulge on the far side. Let's explore this further. The sun also plays a role, although its gravitational influence is smaller than the moon's. When the sun, earth, and moon align, their gravitational forces team up, causing extra high spring tides. But when they're at right angles, their effects partially cancel each other out, resulting in weaker neap tides. And because our planet spins, these tidal bulges seem to travel across the Earth's surface, giving us two high tides and two low tides each day in any given location. This cycle is a testament to the intricate dance of celestial bodies and the captivating power of gravity. So, next time you're gazing out at the ocean, remember the unseen forces at play. A cosmic ballet orchestrated by the moon, the sun, and the incredible physics of our planet. What other hidden forces shape our world that we often take for granted?